at some stage in your working life, I can more or less guarantee you're going to need to know how to quickly convert a PDF file to a Word document on a Mac. So this is exactly what I'm going to show you today using a free tool which I've just discovered. And the bonus is once you've converted your PDF file to a Word document, I'm going to show you how to quickly annotate the text. If you'd like to learn more about how to successfully market your brand online, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell so that you're notified each time I publish a new video. OK, so for the first step, I'm going to dive into Canva. OK, so I've quickly created a document in Canva. It's just a single page from a, a booking form mock up if you like, that I know many freelancers and small business owners like me regularly send out to clients as part of their onboarding process. But it could be any document such as a report or a review. So let's assume I've completed my document and I'm now going to download it as a PDF. So I go to the top right hand corner of my Canva toolbar. Let me just increase the size just there. So I'm going to click on this downward arrow and I'm going to select the file type as a PDF standard. We're not going to print it, so we don't need the other type of PDF. I'm going to click on download and I'm going to download it to my Mac. So you're going to call up this fabulous new tool, which I've just discovered. You'll need to type in this URL into your web browsers. Don't worry, because I'll leave the link in the description box below. So you don't need to remember this right now. This tool is absolutely free to use and you can see you can edit, create and convert up to three PDF files a month for free, which for me is plenty. But if you think you're going to use more than that, you'll have to sign up for a paid account. So I'm going to start off by uploading that PDF um, form, which I created in Canva. So I'm going to click to upload my file here and I'm going to select my file from my Mac. And Docfly has now taken me to my dashboard where I can see my PDF form uploaded. At the top of your dashboard, you'll see two tabs, one for editing and one for converting. Now, I'm going to be talking about the editing tab in another video tutorial. But for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to click on the convert tab just to bring up this drop down menu. And you can see from the menu that you can convert a PDF to Word, to an image. You can convert Word to PDF, Excel to PDF and so on and so forth. But today I just want to convert my PDF file to Word. So I'm just going to put a tick in this box here and click on PDF to Word. Click on convert to Word. And this process doesn't take very long. It all depends on the length of your document. And in my dashboard, I can now see I have a Word document. So I've converted a PDF form to Word in just a few seconds. All I need to do with this document now is put another tick in this box next to the Word document file and click on export. And I'm going to download it again to my Mac. And I can see at the foot of my screen it's downloaded. So I'm going to click on the arrow here to open it up. And now I've got my document opened up, I can go ahead and make some quick edits. One thing to note is that you can't edit any of the images, but you can edit everything about the text. So let me just place my cursor in the title here and I'm going to change the title to new client booking form. Now, here's a little Nikki Ninja tip for you. If you want to add text before a word, or even after a word, pop your cursor in between the first and second letters or the last two letters of the word you want to edit. And then type the new words you want to add. Delete this letter here and then add it again. So let me just show you what happens if you don't do that. Now I'm going to add new client now, new client. You can see I've completely lost the text formatting. So you'll have to reformat this new text. So to save yourself a lot of time, let me go through that again. For new clients, delete the M and then just add it on once more. So that saves an awful lot of messing around and time wasting. 
Now you can go ahead and make some other quick changes. So just for clarity, I'm going to add full name, delete the N and do the same on the other side. Full name, delete the N. Scrolling down a little bit, I think I'm gonna add a hyperlink to my business address just so that people can click there and go over to my website. So I'm gonna do that very quickly. Web page then. And I will have to edit this text really quickly because unfortunately it doesn't bring through the formatting. So all I need to do is change to Helvetica new. I don't want blue text and just increase the size slightly. That's it. And just to complete the document, I am going to add my business logo. So insert that, reduce the size, oops, a little bit more. And I think that is all done. And now all I need to do is go to the file tab and export it either as a PDF again or a Word document. It's as simple as that. That is it, that is all there is to it. It just takes a few minutes. So at the start of the video, when I showed you the DocFly dashboard, you'll have noticed that there was an editing tab. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you all the wonderful things that you can do with that editing tab. And I'm gonna show you how to add custom fields, add a date form field, a signature form field, everything you need to make a fillable PDF form. Coming up next is a video which will show you exactly how to convert a Canva presentation to PowerPoint. That's coming up right here. Take care in the meantime. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.